Our next guest in the Bite Sides Picture Studios is a producer and director who specialises in one of my favourite genres, horror. As the founder of Fanterra Video, Rob Taylor is an award-winning director and documentarian who is making his mark on the film world. Let's head to the studio now. So please welcome to the Bite Sides Picture Studio, Rob Taylor. Welcome. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> now you're an established horror film director. Um, what was the original kind of horror films that triggered your interest in the genre? Um, I think probably uh, Sam Raimi's Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, those were the two films that I first saw. Um, there was something about it that was the violence that was just so over the top to the point that it was, it was comical almost. Yeah. Um, and from there on I just loved it. and. Um, I just wanted to get every every horror film I could get my hands on. You know? um, so I mean, I love everything from trauma films mm -hmm. to um, uh, early Peter Jackson, um, Don Coscarelli, um, early Italian films like um, Dario Argento, um, Lucio Fulci, um, and I just have a massive, massive fan. Uh, I'm a huge fan of. 80s slasher films. It doesn't matter awesome. how good, <laughs> how bad they are. Uh, I just have this, you know, I just have this love for them. So what, 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 what is this love for the for the 80s action slasher films? Like, what is it about? They just feel like yes. I think yes. it's there's just so much fun to watch. Yeah. Um, and I think it's something to do with the, you know, invoking fear in an audience. It, that's what makes it fun. This is what makes it fun for me. Um, yes. I don't actually find them scary. I just, uh, you know. Well, if I do find them scary, I'm just having so much fun, mm. you know, that it, you know, it, it's, I just absolutely love it. You know? So with that, does anything actually scare you? Like being, like being a horror film, I guess, artist, you could say, because it's such like an entrepreneur with this whole kind of genre. Does anything actually scare you itself? Um, I think the paranormal side of things scare me. Okay. Um, but that's, that's more of a, a, a storytelling side to right. it. So even if I watch a paranormal film, I still like I really enjoy it. I'm having fun mm. watching it. Um, but if someone just tells me a story, some kind of paranormal story that mm. they believe is true, that that's what scares me the most. That freaks me out as well. Absolutely. Now speaking of paranormal, we actually did a whole documentary called Australian Entities. Is yes. It, is is that right? Yeah. Yes. Now that was paranormal. So how did you go about creating this documentary? What was it like being on set? Did you experience anything paranormal? Was it freaky? It was very freaky. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was, I was just searching for a, a, a location to, to make a horror, horror film. Okay. Um, and I came across the La Rundle Mental Asylum. It's an abandoned mental asylum. Um, and a lot of people were s online were just speaking about it, how um, they've seen ghosts there. And, it's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in Australia. See, that just freaks me out. When you say ghost, I'm like, nah. Okay, anyway, anyway, keep going, yep. <laughs> but to me, um, I was just extremely intrigued by it. Yeah. Um, and I just, just, something just told me I had to go there and, wow. and try and, and try and capture something. And I, I've had no experience in paranormal activity at all. Okay. Um, and I just grabbed a, a small crew, a small film crew with some night vision cameras and went in there and, um, I won't tell you exactly what we captured, um, but that's for the documentary that's, for us you'll to see. Have to watch it. Yes. <laughs> um, but I went in there as a skeptic, and I came out as a believer. Oh, really? So, yes. Wow. Okay. Because now that 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 makes me really intrigued. Because I have these aspects where I'm like, I I don't really believe in it, but a part of me does, and I think my sensor gets turned off when I watch the paranormal films and things like that. So I'm intrigued to watch Australia. Yeah, well, that, that's the same way I was. I was, you know, I wanted to believe it, yeah. but I'd never really experienced anything myself. So, yeah. you know, um, but yeah, we, okay. we came across <laughs> some, um, some pretty, pretty disturbing things. Yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. disturbing. That's, that's, a, mm, that's a good word choice. Mm, get me kind of freaked out here. Now with that as well, um, you've actually created your own production company called Fanterra Videos. Is that yes. right? Yep. Now it's a fun name for one thing, Fanterra. What yep. was like the inspiration behind the name? Um, well, it's actually, it comes from uh, Phantasmagoria, which is yes. actually, uh, it's a, it's probably one of the first uh, forms of theatre, mm -hmm. really, where they would project ghostly images onto a wall and uh, with uh, using a magic lantern. So yeah. uh, that was in the 1800s, I think. So. Mm -hmm. That's where that 
that came from. And I'm a huge fan of um, Don Cascarelli's uh, Phantasm. Yeah. Um, so that's where that came from, and it, it just mixed it with Terror, and that's that's where I got the name from. So. Wow. Um, cool. Yeah. So from there, I I, um, I made a uh, an eighties exploitation uh, trailer called Night of the Garbage Monster. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, I did uh, a music video for a thrash metal, Melbourne thrash metal band called The Desecrator. Great. Um, as well as the Australian Entities documentary as well. So okay. I'm working on short films. Fantastic. Now, speaking of short films and feature films, you have one coming out, Human Garbage. Yes. Bit of an insight. Tell me a little about Human Garbage. What is it about? Uh, Human Garbage is about a homeless man who is murdered and comes back to life with supernatural powers. Mm -hmm. Uh, to wreak vengeance on a, on a drug lord of a distracted city. Yeah. Uh, and he's aided by a disgraced detective um, turned superhero vigilante called the Ninja Assassin Cop. Nice. And it, it's basically everything you'd expect from um, you know, an 80s uh, exploitation. This is like kind of paying an homage to your, to your love of 80s slasher films, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. Oh, fantastic. So how can we hear or like learn more about Human Garbage? Where can we go to visit the website or...? Yeah, we can go to fanterravideo.com mm -hmm. or uh, we've got a Facebook page for Human Garbage. Um, we've got trailers online, so you go to the Fanterra Video uh, YouTube channel yeah. to review the trailers for it there. Yeah. And uh, at the moment we're just trying to get funding to make the film. So the script, script's ready to go, we just need to... Getting some crowdfunding, get some support out there. Yep. yep. Awesome. Now I have one question which I will ask all of my um, people who are coming here for uh, Bite Size Pictures. Um, what's some advice that you can give out to our budding filmmakers out there? I think just keep making films, get a camera and just go out there and do it. Um, you know, for me it was, I did, I did 12 months of research before I picked up a camera and and um, decided to, to shoot some stuff. And uh -huh. I, I think it's just, you just have to go out there and do it. You know, it doesn't matter how much money you've got, um, you know, and that's what guerrilla filmmaking is all about. You know, yeah. you just, you work with what you've got and Make just it go work. out there and do it. Yeah. Just gotta do it. That's yeah. awesome. So just get out there, grab a camera and go for it. Well, once again, thanks for joining us, Robert. It's been fantastic meeting with you.